Well, when I was first asked to do a new film, my first thought was the opening scene would be Michael on the river and looking at Shanghai. First time that I came here by boat on the Shenking, we actually anchored somewhere near here. I believe the customs house is somewhere on this corner. I think I was seven. I think Sir Michael Kaduri evokes such a sense of loyalty from his staff because he's so hands-on. So when he arrives, like today he's coming into Shanghai, um, there is a buzz, there's a sense of excitement. Of course, you know, it's the big boss arriving, but at the same time, I think they're all so proud of what they do, and they, they want him to see that. In Pencil Shanghai, we also want to keep the tradition. If you can let your family and your friend start to work with us, we'll feel very proud of this. So when I joined the company, of course, Sir Michael made it very clear to me that the number one priority would be a return to Shanghai, to a place where the Kaduri family had lived, had had their businesses, but also this is part of the heritage of our company. Of course, we wanted to find the perfect location, and to us, that meant the Bund. All of the buildings on the Bund are historically preserved buildings that cannot be touched. And in the end, we have become the only new build which has been built on the Bund for the past 50 years. We are so lucky this week in Shanghai. Just before we arrived, we were told the weather was going to be just horrible. And here I am today, and it's absolutely beautiful. And it's particularly important to have good weather because we're filming Sir Michael on the river. The description of change is from the old bun to Pudong. I think anybody coming here would be absolutely astounded and a lot of admiring hands who come back here and who just don't recognize the place. That the source of the family businesses all started here in Shanghai have in some ways left an imprint on me. We have Shanghai back, which was such a prominent part of the company pre-war. I think both my uncle and my father would have been very pleased.